Hello YouTube, this is R with Team Yu-Gi-Oh! Brawlers 3 and here I have yet again another 2013 Corset Fat Pack brought to you by, of course, Magic the Gathering. Enjoy! I haven't been able to get up to my card shop yet, so I will have a booster box opening here pretty soon. Trust me, I will. You know the contents of a fat pack, I'm sure, so I'm not going to go through that. It'll take up way too much time. Alright, so I've got a black die, which is nice. And here you have, like I've said in the past, I'm pretty sure it's an 80 count land, not for sure, haven't taken the time to count them all. I really don't care, it's land, I have plenty of it. Alright, let's get started. So far I have been on a roll of great pulls lately, and I hope that doesn't stop. Alright, here again, Negate, Mind Rot, Pillar Field Ox. Centaur Courser, Blade Tusk Boar, Glorious Charge, War Clamp Mastiff, Duty Bound Dead, Goblin Arsonist, Battle Flight Eagle, Garuk's Pack Leader, Public Execution, Prized Elephant, and Quarry Dryad. Nice pull. Let's second pack. Kindled Fury, Ranger's Path, Silver Coat Lion, Mog Flunkies, Deadly Recluse, War Clamp Mastiff, Battleflight Eagle, Dragon Hatchling, Duty Bound Dead, and Crust, Augur of Bullis, Volcanic Geyser, Rise from the Grave, and Sphinx of Athene. Yeah, not too exciting. One of the more non exciting cards. Uh, let me real quick, I'm gonna adjust my camera. It's not really, yeah, it's just a webcam, so. I'm working on towards getting a camcorder. Alright, on to the next pack. We got Farseek, Servant of Neferox, Guardian Lions, Prey Upon, Glorious Charge, Vile Rebirth, Tricks of the Trade, Avon Squire, Vastwood Gorger, Arbor Elf, Crusader of Odric, Rancor, Clever Riot, and Yeva and Nature's Herald. So I've been pulling a lot of her. That, that makes five, I'm pretty sure. Um, she's very nice, although the legendary rule says you can only have one out, but still it gives all your green creatures flash, and that's just awesome. Ranger's Path, Ramaging Goblin, Captain's Call, Mark of the Vampire, Attended Knight, Duris, Yeva's Force Mage, Spiked Balith, Wall of Fire, Divination, Furnace Whelp, Angelic Benediction, O-Ring, and Hellion Crucible. Wow, that's pretty damn nice. <laughs> One of the more sought-after lands right now, um, mainly because Hellions haven't really been in the game for a little while, so everyone are really everyone's really chasing after those, and I saw a lot of Elementals in the pre-release tournament. Alright, we got another Farseek. I think that's the third pack in a row that I pulled that the first card. Wild Guess, Disentomb, Centaur Courser, Merfolka the Pearl Trident, Timber Pack Wolf, Crippling Blight, Goblin Battle Jester, Vile Rebirth, Tricks of the Trade, Dusk Mantle Prowler, Acidic Slime, Clever Riot, and Rootbound Crag. Haven't pulled one of those yet, that's my first one so far. Um, I'm a red-green player, so that's definitely probably going to find its way into an aggro deck. Um, those are definitely my favorite colors to play, just because they work so well together. Oh god, my... yeah, it's, it's hard using a webcam for these, because it always moves, it always ends up moving. Alright, Mind Sculpt, Mind Sculpt, I guess, Downpour, Naturalize, Pillar Field Ox, Glorious Charge, 
Sentinel Spider, and Crust, Pacifism, Bountiful Harvest, Angelic Benediction, Sarah Angel, Cower in Fear, and Sands of Delirium. Nice. Oh, and look at that. Look at that. A Foil Glacial Fortress. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Nice in my book. Go around nine, ten bucks. So that, you know, any lands I really get besides the red green ones and the uh, uh, drowned uh, catacombs, because I love blue black, uh, usually go in um, my trade binder, and I can just trade them into my card shop for credit, buy whatever I want there with that credit. So and I'm working towards getting a mind sculptor just be just for casual play. Alright, I got Wild Guess, Dark Favor, Captain's Call, Blade Tusk Boar, Deadly Recluse, Windrake, Johnny Sunstriker. This helped me out a lot in the pre release. Primal Hunt Beast, Welkin Turn, Krinko's Command, Knight of Infamy, Switcheroo, Courtly Provocateur, Slumbering Dragon. Oh, that was the rare. Sorry about that. And a Goblin Token. I think that's my first token out of all this. I only have a couple more packs left. Um, I will have, I'm pretty sure it's like 14 packs that I just picked up. So that'll be next. Stay tuned. Um, Guardian Lions, Volcanic Strength, Downpour, Kraken Hatchling, Avon Squire, Windrake, Primal Hunt Beast, Attended Knight, Wall of Fire, Blood Throne Vampire, Roaring Primadox. Blood Reckoning, Fungal Sprouting, and Void Stalker. Not really exciting. It, it's helpful, believe me. I've had it used against me. It took out, um, well, you know, it was used four times against me. So, you know, this this guy got lucky and pulled four Void Stalkers, and you know he, you know, that really gets rid of um, some beefcakes that you have out there, just destroying all of your opponent's shit. So, all right, last pack. You got Blood Hunter Bat. Disentomb, Mind Sculpt, Downpour, War Clamp Mastiff, Sign in Blood, Locking Corpse, Battleflight Eagle, Dragon Hatchling, Duty Bound Dead, Veilborn Ghoul, Sleep, Fog Bank, an Elvish Arch Druid. That's nice. It's my second one so far. And um, yeah, other than just running, other than running red green, um, my go-to colors are either weenie green or weenie white because those are the two monocolor decks that really go best. All right. Once again, this is R from Team Yu-Gi-Oh Brawlers Three. Um, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do. Uh, stay tuned for more Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! if you're into that. Have a nice day.